Hi everybody, welcome back to Vintage Story, episode 55 with me, Sid. First Vintage Story of the new year, so uh, here we go. Uh, I have done quite a bit. Um, you'll notice that I have a black bronze pick and also an axe now, um, as well as that which is virtually new and a reasonable amount of money, 40 two cogs um that is because it is now the 8th of february i pushed myself forward um and basically did a whole load of make work around the place because I, I realize what i'm doing through winter is is a lot of things which are make work and just to pass the time and each episode is very well samey um so, in addition to resetting the weather trade, trader reset, making a whole load of bread, and I've still got a little bit left here, so uh, that's all nice. Um, and obviously, last episode we finished off the tunnel, and previous to that, we've done that. So, what I have done while I've been passing the time is I've joined up all the paths and I've moved all of the cranberries into here well blueberries and cranberries so cranberries now got their own little blueberries got their own little field um, and i'm probably not going to bother collecting any more of these although i might use them as a decoration pieces in terms of these guys they're i keep topping up their food they're doing their thing and hopefully we'll get some generation two sheep but what i have done is i've extended the trench around uh, i'm not entirely sure what do we think i might want to move that a little let's just try let's try putting that Maybe like that. Let's just see. Can I reach that from here? Yes, I can. So this this enclosure is for the pigus when we get some. Um, I probably need to do under here as well. That shouldn't have snow on it, I think. But certainly this lot shouldn't because it's all sheltered. Um... Yep, that's fine. So we've done that. We've got all of this going. And as I say, it's the 8th of February. So hopefully we should start seeing some um, some improvement in the weather before long. <laughs> really hope so. Other things obviously we need to do include killing off all of these withered vines and uh, prepare well hopefully that should be back up to to full but um, I can always I mean there's only eight of these it's not a problem I can always replace them if I need to um, when we're ready to do the pumpkins for the next year I haven't actually eaten any pumpkins from last year so uh, that's that's something different yeah, 66 50 what is if what a fresh one looks like fertility is 50 when tilled so it hasn't actually managed to recover which is interesting or maybe it has to wait till spring who knows I'm not entirely sure how this um, see K there is way down that's all right because these should be pea crops now so hopefully they'll get a chance to recover anyway um 
were, you know, doing okay, waiting for the time to pass. I need to still do something to pass the time, but um, hopefully we're not I'm being stuck as long. And the other thing is, of course, as I am expecting a temporal storm at some point in the not too distant future. So that's another reason not to stray too far away from uh, our our home base. Um, however, I have got plenty of timber, so what I can be doing is get myself a bunch of this. I need to continue working in my quarry area, so let's just take this I should be taking a big a bigger amount but I'm trying to remember what I do with these so if I want I don't want a fence gate I want a fence a fence is sticks I think I should have a reasonable amount of sticks somewhere I do um, can't remember how many oh dear this tell you something the position I find the positioning of this crafting grid somewhat awkward at times, but I will definitely want at least a couple of lots, if not more, of uh, fence posts. So let's grab those just for now. Uh, and what else did I want? I will want slabs, but more importantly, I'll probably want some ladders, which We can craft like this. Does that make more? That makes three. And that makes three. Well, why would I use planks then? That should be enough of those. We'll keep a bit of that going. And I will also take a little bit of walnut and pine just so I can mix up the, the boards. We'll do that tomorrow again, hopefully. Hopefully this will give us a bit of variety to uh, to work on. And, you know, just give that quarry area a little bit of a kind of a beat up look. Or make do look is might be another way of describing it. So, yeah. Um, temperature seems to be warming up a little bit so hopefully uh, let's just have a look is there any sign of it melting yet not here really um hmm. yeah it's still a matter of passing the time but i didn't want to push us on too far um without that so we'll sleep the night off and as I say, we've got to get past that temporal storm before we go and do anything, I think. And that. Uh, should be that. Right, no temporal storm yet, which is a good thing, I suppose. And we'll grab. I need to cook some more meals up at some point, but for now, I'm alright, I've got some bread. And I'm just going to go and, uh, well, for starters, wait for the sun to come up because it's only 5.30 in the morning. The only time I ever want to get up at that time is if I've got a flight. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I will see you in a short while. All right, so the, the quarry has got deeper because obviously I've been using a lot of this um, stone to... to build this out and uh, I'm going to bring this lot back a little bit leave some bits in stone as if we've kind of not um things obviously even this is beneficial because uh, it's, it's tossing things on the floor 
Um, because it gives us the the stone that we we want anyway, so it's all good. Kind of like that, I think. Then bring in a little bit of the pine. Like that for now. And a bit of the walnut as well. Just uh, I think that's too much actually. Let's um let's take that out. We'll turn you back into that and I'm going to Sometimes this randomizing thing just does not work. Um, and there's usually a pretty good and simple reason for it. And that is that you don't replace every board. So, for example, let me get a little bit more wall not going. Um, that makes very little sense. You might have one board that's replaced out because the uh, the walnut boards have have worn, but you're predominantly going to have all the same. Now, what I want to do here, I think, is come out this way where's the oak I can definitely bring you out like that and then if I come down here we want the ladders to come down like that and underneath well, first things first let's not waste the flint I do use a lot of flint still and to be fair I think I will continue to use it for a lot of the time until we get to a game stage where the resources are significantly more um, plentiful shall we say um, just because you know why wear out a perfectly good metal shovel when I can do it with a flint shovel and just re complete continue to remake them? It, it just seems like a common sense thing to me. So, yeah. But I think the key here is we do need to be thinking about the um, the structures as we come down and the overall shape of this quarry so definitely taking a lot of this out I'll probably take it back to here to there and then we'll have maybe a step down at that point don't know how long this pick's going to last, to be honest. But it doesn't matter, because uh, I've got more. So I'm thinking... Like this. life have you got left? Two more blocks. Wow. <laughs> I think this is it's becoming rapidly becoming my big gripe with open world survival games is the the idea that tools have to degrade. Um, I 
Oh no, I've got foot. Plenty. You know, I know, I know, I know tools in real life do wear, but they don't wear this quickly. And, I mean, if we just have a look at, uh, let's just have a look at H and look at pick. So a copper pickaxe has a durability of 300. A tin bronze, 450. So it's a little bit more durable. Bismuth bronze, 500. Black bronze, 550. Gold, no durability at all. And I accept that gold would be terrible as a tool to steal. Same with silver, would be useless. Um, iron, a thousand. An iron pick, if you were to go out and make an iron pick, it would probably last you the life of the pick. A steel pick would definitely, I mean, I remember my grandfather's tool cup, um, shed when when we when I was growing up on the farm and you know he had hammers in there that were, were decades old and they had worn I mean they'd worn um, and in occasion on occasion you know he, he'd maybe have to go and sharpen some something or grind it down put it through you know but and repair it but the essential tool itself remained and I mean there's, there is the old adage isn't there that if you uh, if you take a hammer and you use it and then just later on you replace its handle and you know a bit later on you replace the head is it still the same hammer? <laughs> uh, I think to be honest my answer to that is who cares But, um, yeah, I think this is, I'll be honest, I think it's a tired mechanic. It, uh, it has probably outlived its usefulness as a, mecha as a game mechanic, for the most part. And, you know, what we should have is a a repair kit or a sharpening kit or something like that you know something that makes sense <laughs> here I am me grumbling about things not making sense in games now what did oh I did it like that okay that's fine that's absolutely fine oh and we actually did Okay, that's also fine. I can do that. Let's um, make a bit of one of them and pop that in like no, that's not right. Like that. And then the that makes more sense, I suppose. Then maybe another oak stair here. Like a so. And maybe one there as well. So I need at least one oak stair just to get that join and a walnut stair to also I mean it doesn't have to be a walnut stair <laughs> that's just what we're going with Uh, and in the absence of anything else, we'll go. Actually, I will uh, just notice something. Oops, there is a bit that is missing here. I do need to. That likes to join up there. That can come up there. 
that can come up there. That's a bit more like it. And what I will actually do, I think, because I'm not going to use this at uh, this level now. So we'll take you down, and we shall pop you. Well, actually, we'll stick you there, just so you actually work better for us as a as a tool. And then we'll have another more like it. And then we'll continue on bringing this, you know, in fact, I'm going to wear this pick out just to get the last few, there you go, blocks. And then I'll go and swap over to that um, bronze one that we've got. I also need to grab some food anyway, so let me go and sort that out. Uh, still no sign of a temporal storm. It is 235, not a huge amount we can do still. Um, I don't even know whether there's any pigs in the area, so I'm a bit reluctant to go hunting for them right now. Because I need to set, what I will need to do is set this up to bring a pig over into it, and that would open that up to bears as well which is kind of a downside so I need to be doing this at a time at the same time that I want to really work at that anyway let's uh, continue I'll push on probably through the next night and I will see you in a bit and we've got a medium temporal storm approaching so I've got a while but um, which I'm just using to I haven't actually cooked any more meals yet that's another thing but I've got eight hours before that happens and uh, other things I was there anything I've not built that I actually want more of a raw yeah utterly useless to me lamely mold might be something we'd want but I don't see anything to planter jug what do you use a jug for don't know Let's make myself some bowls. Which is probably the easier thing to... And I will want some of those, so... I've only got four. Well, five, if you include the one in my inventory. Oops, no, it's there. It's alright, I'll fix that in a moment. Uh still do like these mechanics of building things up with bits it's, it is it's quite a nice little extension on the old um, flint napping and clay napping of TFC but uh, yeah I'm just going to make up these I'm going to cook myself I think I'm going to cook myself some meals uh, I may make another set as well, so let's get you going while I'm at it. I'm going to want 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, about 12 out of those. It will make me three meals. And I know that I could run two side by side, but um, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And 1, 2, 3, 4. Just do that one. And run them with sixes. Now I've got all the things. I've added some more tables in and the various bits and pieces. Need to be aware of that temporal storm. Um, I don't know what time it came in, but if it was half six now, it can't be any later than maybe half twelve before we need to head out. So I definitely, definitely need to keep my eyes on that anyway. However, right now, more balls. <laughs> Back in a moment. Alright, time we got in our shelter, we're probably only a couple of hours away from the start of this storm. And I just hope... That there's a... No, I think we're okay. I was going to say I'm hoping that the wolf doesn't uh, want a piece of the action. Um, hmm. 
because now it's oh god no don't do that let me just put that there let's make sure that we are fully enclosed I don't know whether this makes any difference but after that drifter spawned on the roof I'm really not taking any chances so yeah there's um, there's that and now <clears throat> just wait past the time um, for the temporal storm to pass which is still only just approaching so I my suspicion is oh, is around about midnight so let's find out whether I'm right or not back in a moment I was about an hour out <laughs> it's imminent um, yeah we've got actually early starters downstairs as well but um, he's a natural spawn I think so um, yeah now we are just waiting for the onset of the temporal storm which should be well imminent the message says it's imminent so I have to I have to say that I think if I was going to play or if I play another season of Vintage Story which I will do because it's a good game I'm tempted to turn off all of the temporal mechanics I really am because I really don't think this adds anything to the game you know it's easy to avoid all it does is ties you down so if you're getting close to that 10 day period when you're expecting one I don't know to me it just really doesn't add anything um, yeah I, I definitely think this is something that I would contemplate not having uh, I it's almost like if I was going to compare it it's like seven days to die inspired where it's saying oh every so many days you have to fortify up and defend yourself but at least in seven days to die the damn things can't spawn on top of you so I don't know let me know what you think I'm not a big fan but I'm going to stop recording this because I do know that some people find this graphic nauseating and distracting so uh yeah, I'll see you when this is over. Alright, it's over. I'm not convinced that there isn't a drifter on the roof. Um, during the night, something sounded awfully close. Now, it is six in the morning, so... I've uh, gone six in the morning, actually. It's... Uh, no, it's seven in the morning, so let's leg it. Ow. Hmm. Seems to be okay, apart from a slightly uh, twisted ankle. <laughs> let's head down the end of the lake, head back, and get on. Um, it's first of March. Nine days in a in a month. That means I can never have my birthday. That's shocking. Um, but here we... Ooh. Your weight's low. Are you going to give me fatify if I shoot you full of arrows? Do I even want to try? I can, I mean... It's tempting. Oh, damn you. Hmm. Okay, I need to go and get... Any arrows that I... And then go and uh, get that sheeps.
Where are you? Oh yes, I see you. You're running now, aren't you? Yes. She's going to run me straight into a bear or something. I don't. I guarantee it. Where did you go? that easy. Ow. Ah, gotcha. Right, I need to uh, switch over to my knife. It didn't take too much damage doing that. That was good. And let's see what we get off of this guy. Could do with some more leather anyway, so didn't get any fat. That's the bit I really wanted, but oh well. Uh, let me go and see if I can't find that arrow now. So I did fire one off further that I lost, and it was a copper arrow, which kind of makes it a little bit valuable to me. Thought I heard something then. Maybe not. Now it was from there and I shot over in this direction. So, did I overshoot or undershoot? Hmm. percent sure. May have broken of course. It's always a possibility. Let's try looking from above. Sometimes a different angle will help and I'm fairly certain I shot from there to around about there-ish. Hmm. No, it looks like I lost it. Right, anyway, it doesn't matter, we've got a little bit of meat, so I can make myself a meat stew when I get home. That'll be, um, that'll be pleasant. And we've got some leather, so we can get on soaking and treating that. Alternatively, I could wait until I've got a few more yeah, swings, roundabouts. But that's another temporal storm out of the way. We're in March. There's no signs of this thawing, which is just so annoying. I definitely need to be going south and I think for that I'm definitely going to need to wait until I get to episode did I say 60 when I bring you some mods and get some teleportation mods in I've got two temporal gears so that should allow me to travel quite a way south and then build a teleporter there and a teleporter here and yada yada that's the theory anyway I, I did put the um, ladders back before I left because I, I'm not 100% certain whether the um, whether the drifty boys will be able to climb that or not because of the the little hop that's necessary but um, you know I, I actually got two skins off of that thing that's impressive obviously it was it was it was what we're after warm for winter <laughs> Uh, I'm not entirely sure how that worked, but it doesn't matter. Let's let's get that in there and sealed. Hmm, that seems to work for just um, there's a question in one of the comments about if horses are added, how are we going to put um, things? I've got the fire pits going; they're all going nicely, so that's good. Let me. I've uh, only got enough to do three because I think I need to do two meat, don't I? And then, and then something else. So if I do three and three, it'll give me. I'll just have a look. Uh, 
Cooked into warm room, blah, blah, blah. Do I? I don't know whether I can... Mm, let's just go and get some veg and see whether I can do it. I think I need... I'll only get three, though. Which will be a pain. But, um... Let's have... One, two, three, four, just in case. I should actually do something with those pumpkins, but... One, two, three, four. Uh, we'll go for plenty of turnips, so we'll do double turnips. I'm not a big fan of turnips personally, but there you go. But I really want this winter to end, so I think even between episodes I'm going to have to do something similar. Now if I do four, duh, and uh, that definitely does not work. So it's going to have to be... Plus one, two, three, and one, two, three. And let's get you. Oh, I need some fuel. Four of those should be enough. And let's get that cooking. Hmm. Because you know we should be almost through winter by now. It's March. It's it certainly shouldn't be as bad as it is but here we are st stuck I'm just going to munch on those I think for what it's worth and um, we'll pop the um, turnips back there you go lovely got so much food it is actually quite scary um, I think food risk is relatively down that low now. But of course, it does mean that I need to eat, to eat the food as well. So as soon as that's cooked, we'll... Uh, I haven't got a croc spare yet. Uh, they're not cooked yet, so that's the thing. It is still snowing. And of course the bees aren't doing anything because it's too cold for them. So a little bit, a tiny bit of copper left. Most of the copper reserves even anywhere close to us are now exhausted. So I think I've got enough to make one ingot if I really wanted to. Um, yeah, and, and that's enough to make two ingots if I smell that down. Oops. So yeah, we are still stuck waiting for waiting for spring. And I'm not entirely sure how long this is going to take. But we'll have a nice meaty stew. That'll, uh, that should help us. Yep, get a little bit of protein in there. And I think... On that note, I am going to I'm swap you for you for starters. I'm going to take a quick stroll of I'm not sure how many days until the trader resets, and I need to obviously feed my sheep as well. But what I may do is continue pushing through until this starts to thaw because right now. I can do Jack Diddley and another episode of snow and, and just doing tasks around the place. I'll probably, it's probably not what I really want to be doing. I want to be progressing and at the moment progress is virtually impossible um, two days until he resets so you still got one of those I mean I could, there's quite a lot of stuff I could be buying here still buy another one of those for example for nine gears why I'd pay 12 gears for something that was you know measurably worse 
I don't know. I could sell them a whole load of flax, but I'm almost certainly going to want all of that. I'm not going to sell leather. So we've got two more days. So I need to pass two days here. Um, it's probably the wrong place to be asking what temperature it is because I'm, I'm up, I've got some altitude and it gets colder up in the top than it does down below. So yeah, we are still stuck. Winter is taking a while to go away. But the the homestead is looking pretty impressive down there. I must admit I do. Well, I think it is anyway. I've got some more trees planted around the place as well just to uh, kind of try and break the place up a little bit more. In a way, there's a little bit of me would, would like to come around and try and wall the place off but I know that would be you know with a palisade or something but I, I just know that would not work it's yeah so it's only minus two so we are warming I think but not enough to actually start melting yet um, yeah so I think my only real option here is just grab that. I'll do. Um, it's to continue pushing forward and try and get to the point where we're starting to thaw. It doesn't have to be a complete thaw; it just has to be starting, giving me more options of things to do, like go out and explore a little bit more, perhaps. Um, but I'd like to get a whole load more of the berries for the vineyard, which are, you know. Simple enough to do. Let's get you filled up and let's get you filled up. What's your weight like anyway? Your weight is good. Your generation one. Um, it's ready to mate. So we're just waiting on the mail, I think. I hope they've not got some kind of moral obligation, <laughs> objections to to incestuous sheep behaviour but uh, anyway on that note let me push on I will uh, see you next time till then thanks for watching guys I'll see you soon bye for now